With the recent reports of bed bugs spreading across parts of Europe, many guardians wonder if their canine is at risk. Animal Wise solves your doubts by looking at bed bugs in dogs. Can dogs get bed bugs? Bed bugs are blood sucking parasites that have humans as their main host. Our pets are not common hosts for bed bugs since their abundant hair and tougher skin make it difficult for the parasite to bite them. However, especially with large infestations in the home, dogs can also be bitten by bed bugs. Unlike ticks on dogs, this insect usually stays hidden in various hiding places during the day and bites its hosts at night. Check out the video shared above to know about the importance of deworming dogs against parasites. Symptoms of bed bugs in dogs. At the time of the bite, bed bugs inject saliva with anesthetic and anticoagulant effects, making the bites generally painless. In most cases, dermatological lesions appear a few days after the bite. The most common symptoms of bed bugs in dogs are itchy welts, small blisters, redness, and skin thickening and hardening. These lesions often present cluster patterns, which is usually a reflection of several attempts to feed by the same bed bug. Bed bugs in dogs do not usually cause complications beyond the skin lesions that we've mentioned, although hypersensitivity in exceptional cases can cause reactions or even anaphylaxis. What should I do if my dog is bitten by a bed bug? If you suspect that your dog has bed bug bites, it's best to go to your veterinarian so they can determine whether it is indeed a bed bug or another cause. If necessary, they can initiate treatment to relieve the pain, itching and inflammation associated with bites. The problem generally grows beyond the bites that dogs or people may have suffered. The truly relevant issue is the infestation of the home, since bed bugs are very difficult insects to eliminate. If you detect or suspect a bed bug infestation in your home, it's essential to contact professionals who provide pest control services. How to get rid of bed bugs. Before bringing in the professionals, a series of provisional precautionary measures can be taken aimed at reducing the risk of bites. We recommend washing all clothing and items that you suspect may be infested. Bed bugs are sensitive to high temperatures, being destroyed at those higher than 50 degrees Celsius or 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Wash each item at the highest temperature possible. If you have a dryer, do the same for at least 10 to 20 minutes. It is also advisable to iron clothes at the highest temperature. You can place an anti-bed bug cover on the mattress if available. Do not change the mattress before the extermination treatment since bed bugs present in the rest of the home could infest the new mattress. Once the treatment has been carried out, the mattress can be changed or kept the same as long as the bed bug cover is left on. Another recommended measure is to transform the beds into an island to prevent access by bed bugs. By this we mean separating them from the walls or other access points. Bedding should be prevented from hanging over the sides. We can also prevent bed bugs from accessing the legs of the bed by surrounding each leg with a container of water or wrapping them with a piece of double-sided tape. These act as barriers for bed bugs. Vacuum cracks in walls or ceilings, corners, baseboards and door jams, bed bases and any other furniture with a suspected infestation. Once vacuumed, the filter and the vacuum cleaner bag must be disposed of in a double closed plastic bag. Although all these measures are useful to prevent bites, they are not enough to eradicate the pest. This requires professional fumigation with insecticides or other effective means. If you want to continue learning about illness in dogs, don't miss the playlist we share here. We'll see you next time.